we're back for another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at Thomas Wood Stanley. Um, I got him and several other engines. Um, today, May 28th, yeah, 28th Memorial Day at Toys R Us, which is closing soon, I guess. But, um, he was one of the few engines they had left, so I picked him up. This is him in the front, in the packaging. Um, I don't think he looks too bad. He was one of the ones I kind of wanted for Thomas Wood after um, I started reviewing them. Fortunately, quite off from his smoke box. Um, and I have his wooden railway model. I have most of the wooden railway models, like um, previously stated, but um, I'm getting these just because now they're getting cheap at Toys R Us, so that's a thing. I was originally only going to get Thomas. Meet the boy next door. Because he's stylish, smart, and charming, Stanley is extremely popular. His positive attitude and compassion also mean there's nothing he wouldn't do to help a friend. Um, that kinda sounds like Stanley, but, um, we don't see him much in the show, so I guess I wouldn't know. Um, he usually stays in the shunting yard. What if he had a story to himself? Was it Thomas Drake's, um... Thomas puts the brakes on. And that wasn't a story to himself, but that was the last time he was featured as a somewhat main character, I think. I could be wrong. Um, he actually feels kind of quite good compared to the other wooden railway engines. Uh, not wooden railway, uh, wood engine. Um, he has buffer beam. But um, what I mean by that is his wood doesn't feel as rough. It feels very paint-ish from Wooden Railway, I guess that makes sense. If, uh, he's a little blocky, but um, certainly not bad. Stomley. Um, not much to say about him. I'll put him on the track. The very simple overall I have right now. So, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about Stanley's Wood, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.